Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome back to Let's Play Where in the World is Carmen San Diego? We are now on our seventh mission, and the clues started to repeat in some way a couple of times because in the last episode we actually had a clue from the one before, and thankfully it was from the same recording. They were both from the same recording session, so as is this one. So, I'm really fired up for this one. Case number seven, let's go. What are we doing for case number seven? The Statue of Liberty's torch has been stolen from New York City. And we gotta get back. Suspect is male. So, let's continue private eyeing. Anyway, the warrant. Sex is male. Over the years, millions of immigrants have, to the USA have been welcomed by the famous Statue of Liberty in New York's harbor. A ah, very interesting statue, the Statue of Liberty. A reliable source told me he was researching Spanish colonial history. So it's going to be a Spanish colony, maybe in South America, or in Africa, maybe. Let's get some more clues just to be sure. Rowboat flying a sun flag, so it's going to be Argentina. Let's go to the stock estate, see if they actually got a good description of our suspect. No, they did not. So we're going to Buenos Aires. All right. Argentina's fertile pampas or plains region is a land of cattle and cowboys which provides an abundance of beef and grain for export and domestic use. Let's see if Buenos Aires provides some clues. Especially to clues as to what this guy looks like. He changed his money to Kina's and he had black hair. So he changed his money to Kina's. I'm glad the game returns back to the clue that we got when I exit out of the menu. It doesn't do that if I compute the warrant, though, so I gotta keep that in mind. A red, yellow, and black flag. And the currency is Kina's. Well, we know it's not Germany. I can tell you that much. And the foreign ministry. So, Kina's and red, yellow, and black flag. Hmm. Oh, boy. It's not Thailand and it's not Sydney because both of those have red, white, and blue flags. And we just and we've already been to New York. We never go to the same place twice in a Carmen San Diego game, as far as I know. So it's got to be Port Moresby. Papua New Guinea is home to hundreds of primitive tribes, including some headhunters who live in the heavily forested mountains. Let's see if we can get some more description on who we're tailing here in Port Moresby. Changes money to Franks. Hmm. What will the library tell us? He was researching textiles and fashion design. And he was looking for a dinner with the president. He had a nice convertible. So, Franks, textiles and fashion, and a president. Yeah, he had a convertible. And we didn't... Did this guy just break out of jail as soon as we went back to Acme Headwaters? Good lord. 
So anyway, Frank's a president in fashion and textile design. Or textiles and fashion design. Where are we going to go here? Maybe Paris. Because it's certainly not Baghdad, and we've already been to Buenos Aires. With its wide, fertile plains, France produces more food than any other country in Western Europe. Let's head to the bank, get some more clues. A suspicious person was here and he changed his money to wands. He wore fancy jewelry. He left in a rowboat flying a red flag. Red flag. Wands. I want, definitely want to think of somewhere in Southeast Asia. Okay, that's all they're telling us. So. Red flag. Wands is the currency of China. I just now realized that. And China definitely has a red flag, but I just now realized the whole currency part. Alright, the People's Republic of China with more than one billion people is the most populous country on Earth. Still is! Over 20 years later. Because this game is from 1993. At least this version of the game is. Let's check the hotel. Well, there's our henchman. And he had a French dictionary in his briefcase. We don't seem to be going back to Paris, though, because we've already been there. A plane with a maple leaf on its wing. He mentioned that he plays croquet. And it's definitely gonna be Montreal. With any luck, we may be able to find the posture you've there. Playing the PC version. For his YouTube channel. Because that's how he rolls. Canada ranks as the world's second largest nation in land size and is divided into ten provinces and two large territories. Let's see here. Let's check out the sport club. Another henchman! And we're getting closer to the end of the weekend, though. Mount Popocatep... Yeah, how do I pronounce that? Popocked to pedal. That's probably my best explanation of that. So, an Aztec sounding name for a mountain. I'll, I'll just call it that. I'm pretty sure we're going to Mexico. Yeah, we're going to... Mexico. The Mayan calendar is telling us that. So, Mexico City. I should have left in the first clue. I don't know why I didn't. But we're leaving now and we're going to Mexico. Mexico is about three times the size of Texas and has terrain ranging from rugged mountain to harsh deserts and tropical lowlands. Hopefully it will also contain our thief. Yes, it does. Let's check the airport, and if he's not there, he's got to be in the stock exchange then. I hope I got the warrant right. Because he's walking around on the ball and chain. And we did have the right guy. Good. For a second there, I thought I it was he drove a limousine when he rode a convertible, because I only saw that clue once and I was afraid I got it wrong on an accident but I just reserved judgment until I saw the croquet and the jewelry clues so we do have the Statue of Liberty's Taurus returned back to New York and we have five more cases until the next promotion 
And here is the access code in case you need it. So we have a few more cases until we rise up from private eye. But we won't continue with that until the next video. So join me next time where I start a new recording session because this is the fourth one. And two re in the second recording session, I've already done two recording sessions so far. And this is the seventh one. And I have no idea how long it's going to go. And I'm not sure if I'm going to do one or two videos per day for this. I'll see how this goes. But anyway, join me next time where I go to my eighth mission. So join me then, why don't you? Until then, this is Prince Watercress. Take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching!